Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of AI to break down the concept of GPT. What is GPT? Well, it stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, and it's a type of AI model that's developed by OpenAI that can understand and generate human-like text. Think of it like a really smart assistant that can help you write, code, and even chat with you. So here's the breakdown. Generative means it creates content. Whether it's text, code, or even poetry, GPT can create it. Pre-trained means it's already been trained on a massive amount of data from the internet, so it knows a lot of different things. And Transformer is a type of model architecture that it uses that helps it understand context and generate responses. Now, when it comes to GPT, we have different versions that are released. So just like we update our phone or computer to the latest operating system, these models get updates of their own. GPT first came out in 2018 with the GPT-1 model, and since then we've seen several iterations. GPT-3.5 was released as an improved version of GPT-3 in November 2022. This version was great at understanding and generating text, so perfect for tasks like writing emails, generating reports, and even creating chatbots. Now enter the latest and greatest GPT-4.0. This was released in May 2024, built on the capabilities of GPT-4. The O stands for Omni, meaning it can handle multiple types of inputs, so not just text, but also images and audio. It's faster and more efficient, and it's much better at understanding and interpreting visual and auditory data, making it really versatile. And when we're talking about GPT-4.0 and its ability to handle multiple types of inputs like text, images, and audio, you might hear that referred to as multimodal. So while GPT-3.5 was really great at text-based tasks, GPT-4.0 opens up a whole new world with its multimodal capabilities. Microsoft Copilot recently got the GPT-4.0 treatment. We can take advantage of the multimodal capabilities by going to copilots.microsoft.com and we can have a chat-based experience with Copilot, or we can upload files and images. I can upload an image and ask it to describe what's going on in this picture and it can use the multimodal capabilities to understand the image that I'm passing in and come back with a response. I can even upload a code file like this YAML file and ask it to explain what's going on so I can understand it better. Now, if you're a Power Platform person, it's important to understand the differences between GPT 3.5 and GPT 4.0 because we're already starting to see GPT 4.0 capabilities enter into the Power Platform space. In AI Builder, for example, we can now use the GPT-4.0 model for our AI prompts. And because GPT-4.0 does have this multimodal capability, it opens up a whole new world of possibilities for your Power Platform projects. So that was a quick overview of what GPT is and some of the differences in the models. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Power Platform and AI tips. See you in the next video.